billion dollar industry. A billion dollars every year from chickens, eggs, turkeys, ducks, geese, pigeons, squabs, and guineas. A billion dollar industry spread across a continent. Five million farms, thousands of hatcheries, produce plants, packing houses, cold storage plants. Small flocks of a few birds, farm flocks of a few hundred, large commercial flocks that run into the thousands. An industry based on millions of producers, breeding, hatching, feeding, processing, shipping, and selling. A scientific industry where science has brought forth new ways, new means, new types and breeds. Science that controls the breeding, feeding, housing, preparation, and marketing of food so valuable and so delicious that a billion dollars a year is paid by consumers that they may enjoy it. Certain poultrymen specialize in breeding and distribute this improved stock by selling hatching eggs, baby chicks, or mature birds. Scientific breeding is based on trap nesting and progeny testing. The National Poultry Improvement Plan, which is administered by the United States Department of Agriculture, has provided progressive stages in a breeding program. Trap nesting provides the means of keeping track of the egg production and development of individuals and families. Under this plan, Flocks are also blood tested for pylorum disease. Standard bred poultry is used as foundation stock to develop birds that by their good livability and high egg production will return a profit to the poultry producer. The old familiar broody hen, which sits on only the small number of eggs she can warm with her own breast, is rapidly giving way to the modern incubator that can hatch as many as 50,000 eggs at one time. The mechanical hen, with perfectly controlled conditions of temperature and humidity, has called for modern mass production methods of selecting, traying, and turning the eggs. Row on row of incubators that may hold as many as a million and a half eggs under a single roof. A hatchery business that has grown from the small incubator on the farm to these modern plants under scientific control and management. A business made possible by the fact that baby chicks may be shipped safely to distant points. In modern hatcheries, chicks are carefully sorted to pick out the good, sound chicks that stand the best chance of developing into profitable producers. An interesting development of recent years is the sexing of baby chicks. Trained, nimble fingers and searching eyes quickly determine the sex and sort the chickens into pullets and cockroaches. Some operators can sex a thousand chicks an hour with an accuracy of 98%. Hatching is not confined to chicken eggs, ducks, turkeys, and even wildfowl have been successfully hatched by artificial incubation. The shipment of turkey eggs and poults has caused a shift in the geographical centers of turkey production. These are poults of the bronze variety. Here is a box of white hollows. And these belong to the black variety. Modern methods of brooding consist of supplying heat by any one of several methods and giving the chicks 
access to good growing rations. Strict sanitation must be maintained. These chicks are grown on a reinforced wire mesh floor. Others are rooted on a floor covered with litter of an absorbent nature. Chicks old enough to do without heat are sometimes raised on wire runways where all the feed they consume must be brought to them. Other chicks are grown out on a range which provides succulent green food which must be supplemented by mash and grain. Inexpensive shelters which can be moved when the ground in the immediate area becomes contaminated are provided for growing pullets. Segregation of growing pullets and cockerels is a highly recommended practice. The commercial poultryman finds it profitable to have pullets in each of his units all about the same age. So they come into production when egg prices are the highest. The farm flocks supply the bulk of the poultry products. Although the small flock of poultry is only one of several sources of income on the farm, farm flocks usually have unlimited range. The American public likes fried chicken. This demand, coupled with scientific development, has made possible a large commercial broiler production industry. This is concentrated in a few areas, and the birds are handled in large units, often 10,000 or more chicks being brooded in one longhouse. Both cockerels and pullets are sold for broiler. 